from their allotments say they are not giving up the fight. A year ago, they were told they had 12 months to vacate the field at Coombe, near Wooden Underage in Gloucestershire. The villagers used their last day on the 250-year-old allotments to stage a farewell bonfire party, as Ken Goodwin reports. Today, people in Coombe would normally be heading for their allotments, busy weeding, digging and planting. But now, for what's believed to be the first time in more than 200 years, there are no allotments. Everyone has been evicted. They knew it was coming. In fact, the landowner gave them a year to move out, as we reported last March. But despite their campaign to get the site listed as a community asset, they've had to comply with the order. So villagers staged a farewell bonfire party. For Maggie Butt, whose late husband loved growing vegetables here, it was almost too much to bear. My husband and I gardened this for so long, and uh, he's, I can see, I can feel I'm closer to him here than I am almost anywhere. What are your feelings going to be when you're not allowed in anymore? I shan't look, I shan't look, it be just too painful to bear. The village of Coombe near Wooden Under Edge has no shop, no pub, and no hall. The allotments were at the hub of their community. I think it's very sad that in a community that relies on the allotments here to be the place where they can gather together, where there's social life in the community, really important for the community to have a place like this, and sadly they're going to lose it. It's believed there could be plans to develop the site, but planning permission would be needed first. Well, I mean, it's a personal point of view, um, but I, I suspect it would be very difficult because, one, it wouldn't meet the local plan, um, it's also outside the development boundary of the town, um, so it would be very difficult for any planning application to actually get through, I would, I would, I would suggest. Too early for bonfire night, so the effigy certainly wasn't Guy Fawkes, but whatever it was, it was soon consumed by flames. The band played, and so did the kids. Everything that couldn't be taken away was burned. They wanted to leave their allotments tidy. Today the embers have cooled, but the determination of the villagers to keep on fighting for their allotments has not. I also think really positive things have come out of this in terms of community spirit, in terms of creativity, and uh, I think there is going to be a creative solution found to this. We asked the owner of the site for a comment, but she has declined. Villagers still can't quite believe that their allotments have gone. They've been the focal point of their village for years, and for the moment, it seems they still are. Ken Goodwin, ITV News, Coombe. You're watching 